program tonight, and I hope you will enjoy it. And I'm handing you over to the great Kieran Hanrahan of RTE and Cayley House fame. Give him a great welcome now, a good midtown welcome. No. Oh, there we go. That was faster than I expected, I have to say. I on this task of playing a few tunes with me. Uh, much appreciated. And uh, I'm also to say thanks to Noel Battle, who will be dancing a step here for us very shortly. Jesus. Who's that? Right, I'll play a couple of um, uh, a couple of Kilfenora tunes. Actually, uh, Mick, when he heard me, when he heard that I was going to play these tunes, he said you must have been listening to the Kilfenora. And actually, in fact, I was uh, I had the honour of producing an album that they recorded these couple of tunes. And the first one is called um, Sweet Marie. Actually, it was written by Percy French, believe it or not, it was a song. And the second one they call Frank's Two Step. So we'll try these and we'll see how we get on.
Oh, I actually didn't know where I was for a second there, but anyway, we found the rest of it, so it was an edit point of, yeah, Nancy, you know yourself. Um, anyway, that's why we played it the three times. Uh, I'll play a couple of hornpipes, actually. Um, first one actually was written by Sean Ryan. Um, Kilcooley Wood is actually called. Um, Sean, of course, is a, an outstanding fiddle player and tune maker, I suppose, uh, over the years, and God be good to him, but his son Brian compiled all his tunes uh, after his death, and he put them into a couple of collections. First one is called um, The Hidden Ireland by Sean Ryan, and they're just absolutely beautiful tunes, all his tunes. They're suitable, actually, for every instrument, which I think is a great mark of a good tune, if you can play it on the box, the concertina, the piano, the banjo, the whistle, you know it. So Sean Ryan had a knack of actually doing that. And as I say, he was a beautiful fiddler as well. And the second one I'll play then is called The Buck from the Mountain, if I can remember that. Uh, this is just an old hornpipe that was kind of revived, I suppose, by Eileen O'Brien and uh, a friend of hers when she she recorded an album in aid of the Nina Hospital called The Fiddler's Choice many, many years ago. And uh, she re recorded this particular harp, the book from the mountain, on that. So we'll try these. Thanks a million, you're, you're very decent. Um, I don't know when I did this last, to be honest about it, and, and I don't know when I'll do it again, to be honest about it, but uh, thanks a million for, for being charitable. But when I was coming down here, uh, Mick 
Foster rang me, and I'd say he must have rung me maybe 15 months ago, and he said, you're all right for this year, we have that sorted, but what about next year? And uh, so I said, yeah, call me back again sometime, and of course he did about a month later, and I said, Jesus, make, will you let the year run out like? So he did just about maybe the 2nd of January, so I was delighted because um, I had heard so much about Frank Gavin. I met him once just, and I found him just to be such a gentleman, I have to say, and his history and his legacy and all that he has done for traditional music in this area. I know some things you might never forgive him for, that's teaching Mick Foster and stuff, but the rest of it, the rest of it you say was good. Uh, anyway, so Mick said there are two conditions when you come down here. We start sharp, he said, at 8 o'clock, which I should have been ready for. And the other one, he says that you play a tune. So he said, is that okay? I said, that's fine. I have one condition myself. He said, what's that? I said, that you'll play a tune with me when I come down. It is not, not often I have the honor of playing with an All-Ireland Piano Accordion Champion. So he reluctantly agreed. So would you welcome Mick Foster onto the stage. You might get a microphone for him. You can use... Don't you use, oh no, we stick with that. Yeah, yeah. Can we say, oh, hi, what do we say? Devani. Oh, Devani's goat and whatever follows. What's the one in G? Oh, push me if you did. Oh, we'll be all right, we'll, we'll, we'll get it as we go along. Yeah. Here we go, mystery tour.
That's brilliant stuff from Mick. Okay, we have her. I'll put back on the jacket now. I mean from the meadow or the bog maybe. And I have a running order somewhere. I have, and it's accompanied by a CD actually, which I'm told, I'm told there's one of these for everybody in the audience. They said, as soon as you're down from RTE, you might say that. So there is one from, for everyone in the audience. It's, it's a CD of three brilliant young people that you're about to hear playing now, actually. Um, we may find out at some stage where they got the name, but uh, it's an unusual name in itself, but not surprisingly considering who some of them are related to. But they're called the Cavan Books, okay? And they're, they are, they're a group of wonderful young musicians, prize runners at Flares and all that sort of thing over the years. And they are sort of heading out there, doing their thing, launching this CD. They're on early in the concert tonight because they have to head off up to Fermanagh to do a launch concert up there. We have Zoran Dunahu on the concertina, Barry Connerty on concert flute, uh, a champion piano player as well is Barry, and we have Ellen Grant on the accordion here beside me. As you can probably guess, they're from County Cavan. They're called the Cavan Books. And I say it is available, is it 10 or 15 euros, something is it? It's available for everybody in the audience at 10 euro a throw. So there you go. Martin don't know who look after you. He gave it two for the price of three, that kind of thing. He is from Cavan. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Cavan Books. everybody. Uh, we're going to start off now with three jigs. The first one we're going to play for Kieran. it's called The Clare Shout. It's a Bobby Gardner tune. Uh, the second one is called Long Nancy's and the third one is a Scottish tune we got called Charlie. Thank you. Thank you. 
So we're going to continue now with a set of reels, and um, this is actually a set of reels that was recorded on the CD by uh, Zoran and Ellen together as a duet, and they would have done a lot of duets over the years. So um, I decided to just come in and play it with them tonight. But um, the first one is Laughing Waters into the Caucasus, and we're going to finish with a great reel by uh, Joni Madden called The Conspiracy Reel. I just want to say a huge thanks to Nick Foster and everyone involved in here to, for asking us up, so thank you. Okay, this is me now for the rest of the night. Wasn't that absolutely beautiful music? Three very, very young musicians. It's amazing uh, the maturity in their music. I was just wondering what the name of the last tune is. It just feels like a real old, warm, old tune. And in fact, they told me it's called The Conspiracy Reel, which was written by Johnny Madden. So it's not that old, but it's written in that old style. Gorgeous music. Uh, the Cavern Books, they have to dash off to County Fermanagh, but they're 
leaving a few CDs there in case any would be taken by that for a little later on. Right, Moira is back in position and we're delighted to welcome on stage. He's the current Ulster champion on accordion. He's a champion accordion player anyway. I know you're familiar with his music down here. It's a beautiful style of music he does play. Would you please welcome on stage from Balignà. Please welcome Fergus Bogue. <laughs>
thanks very much, everyone, uh, and thanks for inviting me down tonight. Uh, it's, it's a great honour to be playing. There's there's many great artists on, and there has been through the years. I'd like to I'd like for you to give my refresher a big round of applause there. <laughs> to a great player. I always love playing with her now. Uh, there were three reels. The first one was uh, Ships in Full Sail. Second one's Kevin O'Loughlin's, and the third one was. Uh, Oh, the humorous Venice Diamond, that one is. And uh, I'm going to play now a few reels. The first one's a Fimber Dwyer tune. The second one's called The Millhouse. And the third one's Kevin O'Loughlin's. Thanks very much. Uh, hope you enjoy them.
Now, are you enjoying yourself so far? Is it too warm for some of you down there? Is it too cold for some of you? Yes, as we were told, turn it on, turn it off. We don't know what we're doing backstage with it. Will we turn it off? I go back and look. There she goes. You're in charge of the heat there. Go in and turn it off, please. Anyway, sure, when you'll be hearing that kind of music, sure, your soul will be lifted anyway. There's no doubt about that. Right, to calm things down, but I have to say, uh, in a wonderful way, I was just wondering inside our next guest. I met her 10 years ago. We were wondering about the day at a bank holiday weekend in Castletown, Gagan, when we went down to do Cayley House. That was our first time there. And uh, there was a fantastic array of musicians and singers there. And amongst them was our next guest, and I'm delighted she's here. She said to me, will you introduce the first song, and I'll introduce the second. So I said, fair enough, good deal. So from Castletown Gagan, singing Padraig Og Mokri, would you please welcome Catherine Nee. How he spoke of 
me in his last long dying breath and then they laid him down to sleep in the grave with the true and free and left me Okay, so the next song I'm going to sing is called Delaney's Chicken, and it's a good, lively, fast one, so I hope you enjoy it. <coughs> now, Delaney from the market bought a fowl a month ago. If he finds the man that sold him, he will kill him with a blow. Delaney bought this chicken, be another tender breed. And of a more deceitful bird, you never heard a greed. So when they sought to pluck it, their efforts were in vain. Their hands were torn and blistered, and their muscles, they were strained. And resting off this chicken, they put him down to stew. If you want to set a lady cracked, Cry cock a doodle do. So Delaney bought this chicken for to give us all a spread. And after they arriving home, they tried to pull off its head. They ordered picks and shovels, they got twisted up like tin. They tried to carve the chicken, but they couldn't break the skin. Now this bird must have been crowing since they built the Tower of Babel. He was fed by Cain and Abel and he lived in Noah's stable. All the shots and shells were fired in the field of Waterloo. Could not penetrate or dislocate the tegulated armor plated, double breasted, iron chested cock a doodle doo. So they borrowed Daly's rammer by which he rammed the stones, thinking that when tapped would break the tender chicken's bones. But the first one it rebounded like an Indian rubber ball, and knocked twelve yards of coping out of Mulligan's garden wall. Now this bird must have been crowing since they built the Tower of Babel. He was fed by Cain and Abel and he lived in Noah's stable. All the shots and shells were fired in the field of Waterloo. Could not penetrate or dislocate the tegulated armor plated, double breasted, iron chested cock a doodle doo. Now the Dundee extra gunners came to excavate the thing, and the sword he carved the Russian with bent like three yards of string. Old Timber brought the Davy Miner, through him they showed delight, while blowing up himself and the chicken with a pound of dynamite. Now to scrape the walls for chicken, it wasn't easy work. It wasn't easy knowing which was chicken or which was bark. But they found a leg of chicken on a friendly blacksmith's head and a pair of everlasting heels upon my boots it made. Now this bird must have been crowing since they built the Tower of Babel. He was fed by Cain and Abel and he lived in Noah's stable. All the shots and shells were fired in the field of Waterloo. 
Waterloo could not penetrate or dislocate the tigulated armor plated double breasted iron chested cock a doodle do. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, That's beautiful stuff from Catherine. Nee, I was just chatting to Catherine inside, and Colin, of course, her brother is living in County Clare now, and uh, she was telling me that her nephew is actually playing a bit of football and hurling down there, so there'll be a Castledown gag and crowd will be contributing to the future of the Gaelic games in County Clare. We're, we're delighted to say that, so fair play. Beautiful singer is Catherine, I must say. By the way, I've been asked to just mark... Uh, a significant birthday for Father Fitzsimons, who's down there. Is Father Fitzsimons there somewhere? Say happy birthday to him anyway. <laughs> Celebrated a birthday very recently. I'm told he's a great supporter. And actually, it's an unusual day. This is the 10th concert, uh, memorial concert for Frank Gavigan. And this is the first time that the concert has been held on the the date of birth of Frank Gavigan, because uh, Frank was born on the 7th of October 1921. So it's appropriate that we're all here for the 10th concert to honour the memory of Frank Gavigan. And appropriate too that we have one of our foremost, if not the foremost, tin whistle player in the land with us. I don't want to be putting her under pressure by saying that, but she has been under that pressure since she was a teenager herself. A brilliant whistle player, an outstanding musician, a great ambassador for traditional music and indeed for keeping the tin whistle there as an instrument. Uh, it, it's because of her playing that people still go back and play the tin whistle, I know that for sure. She teaches, she has a book of uh, methodology for teaching the tin whistle out as well, but she also teaches a lot of students, but it's when she's playing we like her best. Would you please welcome on stage Mary Bergen. I'd say maybe raise it up a bit. There we go. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Um, it's just wonderful to be back here. I thought literally it was, it was about three years ago since I was here. <clears throat> but I was just talking to Noel and he said, no, I think about five years. So the years are flying by. But it's great to be back here again. And um, I'm going to play, I'm going to start off with a couple of jigs now. The first one is the Made on the Green. And the second one, one of Porrigo Keefe's. And just, um, Porrigo Keefe was a, a fiddle player from County Kerry. And he was a schoolmaster. And in the summer months, he used to go out and cut turf on the bog. And uh, this, this tune um, I, I only heard recently was one of those tunes that he composed while he was working on the bog. But he used to put little stones, draw, like on the wet bank of turf, he'd put lines along and put a few stones in to remind him of which notes, you know, just the start of the, the tune that he composed. And um, but anyway, this is one of those tunes. So. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Thanks very much. Good stuff. Um, what do we see? Maybe I'll try a couple of hornpipes now. Um, the first one is called The Old Blackbird, and the second one is an old tune called Dumphy's Hornpipe. <clears throat> very much indeed. <clears throat> um, I'm going to try um, a slow air now. <clears throat> I was teaching all day yesterday and my voice has gone. I must have done an awful lot of talking or shouting or something like that. <laughs> um, this, this one is an air that I love. I love um, playing. It's uh, Schlieve Galgoa. So hope you enjoy it.
Thanks very much. I'm going to finish off now because there's loads. I think they're taking a break actually after this, but then there's loads more music to follow in the second half. Um, what can we see? Um, I, I'll play a couple of reels. The, the boys of the lock and um, I think the boys of Malk. Oh no, no, it's not. It's the boys of lock and the London lassies. We'll give those a shot and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks very much. That's brilliant playing from Mary Bergen. Right, um, talk about Susbjog, I think. We're going to take a short break. I'm told that there will be tickets for the raffle doing the rounds during this short break, and I'm told that the 10 minute breaks around here are usually 20 plus. So we'll take it as one of those breaks. We'll get the lights up the way you can see how much you're buying the tickets for. Okay, some lovely prizes anyway. But we're gonna take a break and then we'll continue with the second half of the program, all right? And buy a few tickets. No. Where's everyone? By the way, a great friend of ours here, uh, he's an author, and a world-renowned author now after last week. We're delighted that he's in our midst tonight, and he'll be signing copies of his book later on. Would you please welcome Sean Norman with us tonight. Sean, great to see you. His new book released very recently, I have to say, Sean's new book. So we're delighted about that, Sean. Fair play to you. 
a great stalwart for traditional music in this area and throughout the country, has to be said, for many, many years. So we congratulate Sean on that. OK, music. We have from Ballymahan, Willie Kavanagh, and from Emper, I'm told. I hope that I get it right. I? Hey. That's Paddy McGuire. And they're going to be joined by Myra on the keyboard and the drummer with the Bridge Cayley Band. That's Liam McCormack. And they're going to leave you in their capable hands for the next few selections. That's Give them a welcome. Thanks very much, Kieran. We're going to start off with two jigs. The trip to Athlone and the maid on the green. Hornpipes this time, the cliff, and we don't know the name of the second one, but we learned it off a CD or an old LP of Billy McComaskey.
to finish off with three reels. The first one is everyone's favourite, the bag of spuds. And the two copper plates. Thanks very much, ladies and gentlemen. Would you give a nice round of applause, please, to Myra and to Liam here on the drums for the backing. Thank you very much. Now, what about that most hard-working person here all night, Myra Fraser, doing a fantastic job. And always with a smile, I have to say. Now, another lady actually who always has a smile as well and who's a great friend of this particular concert annually and she broadcasts on Reading and Gweltete and she always broadcasts this concert on Reading and Gweltete each year. She's a great supporter of traditional music. She's a brilliant musician herself and a beautiful flute player, I have to say. And then when she's finished with the tapes from this concert, she always sends them on to me, the way we can broadcast them on Cayley House. So we have a very friendly sort of working relationship going. But I have to say, I love sitting down and listening to 
the tunes of this lady. Would you please welcome on stage a woman who brought out a CD actually in the last couple of years too, worth having, Nancy Nikhushtala. Kieran, and when Kieran is finished with his tapes from the FLA, he gives them to me. So, <laughs> so we have a nice little relationship going there between Kayleigh House and Kyle Bean. So, all's well as long as RT doesn't uh, start saying um, we can combine the two of you and only one is needed. <laughs> That's when we'll be in trouble. <laughs> so, um, when I came down and recorded this concert, I think the first one was four years ago. Uh, it was mostly box players, but I think uh, Mick Foster has changed a bit. He's getting very fond of flute players and whistle players, and uh, we've seen a good few of them tonight. And there's another great man coming up later, Keane Sweeney, to give us a few tunes as well. So uh, anyway, thanks to Myra again. She's going to give me backing here. So I'll start with uh, three slip jigs that I heard and learned from playing with Paddy O'Brien. So the first one is Redigan's Mother, the second one is The Humours of Derry Crisan, and the third one is uh, Sir Philip McHugh. And I'm hearing myself back from somewhere, <laughs> I don't know where. <laughs>
Michael Mahagi. Um, I'd also like to welcome Rory O'Brien on board. He started working with us earlier this year, and this is his first Frank Gavigan concert. So hopefully it won't be his last. <laughs> and uh, it's great the way that Mick Foster uh, gives the young people a chance to come and play their music. And it's not every time we'd have the senior box bear for 2017 on stage, but I think Fergus Bogue will probably do it. So give him, him a round of applause. So I'll finish up with uh, three reels. Um, the first one is, um, first one is what? Um, anyway, the second one is Billy Brockers and the third one is Crowley's. So uh, we we'll give, oh, the first one is actually Trip to Birmingham, uh, composed by Josie McDermott. So, Ramila Mahagi. <laughs> Well, that's 
Nancy Nichushla, and that's Myra Fraser, in case we didn't introduce. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to get her a cup of coffee. Now, I think Mick Foster is bringing out the according to raffle it. Yeah, Mick. There's the first prize in the raffle. Turn around and give us a look at it. Have we tickets? Is this working? It is. No, hey, no, have you have your tickets. The box of tickets. Oh, Gosson. Right, I'm just going to I'll take them here and we'll hand them to Kieran. That's Excellent. That's it. All done. You'll be glad to know. Thanks a million for that. It is all part of it, sure. Prizes in that pocket. Who's up next? Ah. So he, he, he couldn't let the accordion go, but he's going to sit down and play a tune on that now anyway. So Mick Foster's going to be joined by the wonderful dancer, Noel Battle, who will not dance tonight. He's going to play at the Mort organ. Siobhan Conoran is on concert flute. Myra on the piano again. And indeed, Liam McCormack is on the drums. What about what a, the brave man, Noel Battle? He's only after getting the hip done, and he's ready for action already. Noel Battle. <laughs> and new to the band, we have Anya Neil Riley as well on the fiddle. So that's the band for now, for the moment. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That was a, a real old march. Uh, probably nobody will understand this, only Sean Norman down there, but 50 odd years ago, I used to play with a, an under 18 Kelly band from Edinburgh, and that was the march we used to play in the competitions uh, in two different keys. And I just talked about the day and I said, we'd chance it. We're going to do a couple of jigs now. Uh, and sure, we'll see what happens after that.
Thank you. We're going to do, uh, just for a bit of a change, we're going to do uh, three little uh, Carolyn pieces, and uh, unless Siobhan knows the name of them, I have under the Mohaj idea. Go on, do you know the name of them? I, well, the middle one is She Shibog Shimura. It was actually one of the most memorable pieces composed by um, Thurlock O'Carolyn. And the third one, indeed, is another Planksty called Fanny Power. And I'm not sure of the first one. Thank you very much. We're going to finish off now with a couple of reels, and uh, before we do, uh, sure, I think Kieran, Kieran introduced you to the band, but just in case uh, he didn't, uh, over on, on piano or keyboards, we have Myra Fraser from the Foster and Allen Band.
Beside her we have Shivani Conoran from the Temple Dlantine Cayley Band. Beside her we have Anya Riley from the famous Riley family from County Mead. Uh, at the very back uh, we have Liam McCormack from the Bridge Cayley Band. And uh, beside me here we have uh, 12 times All-Ireland champion mouth organ player Noel Battle. And uh, maybe you might do couple of tunes on your own with yourself as the great Bill Jordan used to say. Right, he tells me to shut my mouth and play along with him. <laughs> so we'll do that. A uh, couple of reels and then we'll, we'll hand you back to Kieran. Thanks very much. No, the most organ player is going to share the microphone with the accordion player. This will be good. Be interesting. This is for a very special reason, actually, because they're going to accompany now one of our finest singers in the land. Always brightens up a room when she arrives to sing a song. She's actually on a cloud over the last month or six weeks since Tipperary won the All Ireland hurling final. Ah, oh, sure. That's it for another 10 years at least, anyway. So, would you please welcome Nora Butler? There's a spot in Old Ireland, it's a spot of great fame. And it lies to the north, now I'll tell you its name. It's the land of my birthplace, and it stands on good soil. And they call it lovely Derry, on the banks of the foil. I was young, I was foolish. And like all other boys, I had not met. 
many sorrows, nor yet many joys. I worked hard for a living, and for years I did toil. Far away from lovely Derry, on the banks of the fire. Now I court the weak girl, and her age was eighteen. She was the fairest calling the world ever seen. She had skin like a lily, and her hair waved in coil, and she came from lovely Derry. On the banks of the farm When I make a fortune Back home I will go To the land of my birthplace And a wee girl I know I will build her a mansion And for her I will On the banks of the foil. Now for to conclude and to finish my song, I hope, my dear friends, that I've said nothing wrong. If ever you visit this Don't forget lovely Derry on the banks of the forest. Oh, you changed your mind now again. <laughs> Anyhow, it's great to be back again here tonight. Uh, Mick Foster's asked me to sing Schlieven am on. I think I sang it a couple of years here ago, like Mary Bergen tonight. Maybe just, I thought it was two years ago, but it could have been five years ago I sang this song. Anyhow, we're really proud this year after winning two All-Irelands. So, <laughs> so we're doing Schlieven am on. Ladies' choice.
Okay, I give the musicians a break, so, and I suppose I'd be better known for singing unaccompanied, so maybe I'll sing a song. I promised a woman I might sing it if I can think of the words. It's called The Cliffs of Dunean, and it's the old version of The Cliffs of Dunean. Once again, I will wander from my own native home. Far across the blue mountain, far away all the foam. But in all of my rambles, I never have seen like the high rocky slopes round the cliffs of Dunin. So farewell to Dunin, farewell for a while. And to all the kind neighbours I am leaving behind. To the crossroads and sand hills where lately I have been on the high rocky slopes round the cliffs of Dunin. Oh, how pleasant to be on a bright summer's day where the apples and cherries will never decay where the hare and the rabbit are quite plain to be seen making homes for their young round the cliffs of Dunin. Take a view across the Shannon, strange sights you'll see there. You'll see high rocky mountains from the west coast of Clare. And the town of Kilrush in its splendor may be seen from the high rocky slopes round the cliffs of Dunin. So farewell to Dunin, I must leave you once more. And although we are parted by the raging sea's roar, once again I will wander with my Irish Colleen on the high rocky slopes round the cliffs of Dunin. We have it. Well, fantastic, I have to say, to hear Nora singing. Are you enjoying the concert, by the way? <laughs> I'll take that as kind of. I think it's great. It's fantastic to hear, you know, when you're here, that mixture of, of musicians, those that have kind of pioneered, I suppose, the traditional music. And we're here in the memory of one man, that's Frank Gavigan, for sure. But it's fantastic to hear Mick and Nora and these people that played traditional music through the 60s into the 70s and then to hear the new generation playing as well. I just think it's fantastic and it's a great mix in the concert here tonight. And now that gives me a chance to welcome our next guest, all Ireland champion flute player last year. He didn't bother with it this year. I met him on a few occasions actually doing Cayley House. I, I seem to think that he's still only a student, but in fact, He's a qualified teacher and he works up in Ashburn now. Made his way down to be with us on the concert tonight. He's from up around County Cavan. That's what he told me on the radio one time. He was from Cavan. Would you please welcome on stage, brilliant young flute player, Cian Sweeney. Uh, just thanks to Mick for asking me up here. Um, really appreciate him used to coming up here to beat Mick at a few games of handball, so it's nice to, nice to be able to come up here to play a bit of music as well. So 
Uh, play a few jigs first of all. Um, one of them's called Teller I Am. Maybe Nancy might know the, the rest of them. There, maybe not great with names, but we we try them anyway. Um, play a few slip jigs there that uh, we play around till a shandor a good bit. Um, got them off my uncle Ted Sweeney, um, the Hardy Man, the Fiddler, and I think it's the Devil Road. The dancer is the is the next one. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, uh, to finish off with a lot of reels, uh, the first one is, um, I think it's one of Jim Dunho's, and the second one is uh, Palmer's Gate, and the third one is, uh, I, can't, I can't think of the name of the third one, but if you want to know, you'll have to ask Nancy or Kieran. I'm not great with the names, or anyone else in the audience might know them either. Right, enjoy the rest of the night, are you? Maybe this is almost our final act of this evening, our final musician of the evening, I should say, playing from Fermanagh, but actually living in London, and uh, gets back here very, very regularly. Myra is back in position on the keyboard, as you can see. She has now switched to the deluxe model, uh, especially for this selection of tunes. But before I introduce our next and final guest, uh, Mick just asked me to invite any of you in the audience who has an instrument and would like to join us for the final selection of tunes. We're just going to have a, a few tunes here on stage at the very end of the concert. You're welcome to join us as soon as we're finished this next item. So if you have an instrument, you have a chance maybe to go and gather it and uh, come up on stage and play a tune with us. Have you anything with you, Sean?
to bring the yoke. Brilliant. Excellent. So anybody that has, you're very welcome to join us on stage. Anyway, this is a young man, actually. I heard him when he was only a child, actually, uh, when we were traveling around doing programs. And uh, originally uh, from Fermanagh, as I say, living in London. But every time I've heard him over the years, it's just been very, very special. He's a fantastic young man himself. Says he'll be coming back to live in this country uh, in the next while, as he says himself. But we'll be delighted when he does, because we'll have more access to his music. Would you please welcome Darren Breslin. Good evening, everybody. Good stuff. Um, it's been a, it's been a while from um, from I've been down this part of the country. Great to be back. Um, another fall house. Um, bit like Croke Park last week, wasn't it? Up oh, Mayo. <laughs> By the way, my father's down there somewhere. I'm about to get my text message. That there's 25 cattle broke out into the neighbour's lawn there. So you may you may get up the road there, sir. <laughs> Right, we're going to start off here with a couple of reels. Um, don't be afraid to let not yelp and yo and shout and yo-ho and whatever you want to do. If you don't, you just have to pay to get out. So, Anyway, a couple of reels. There's a man um, just was standing down at the back of the hall earlier on. I'm sorry I forget his name. <laughs> um, and he requested um, Lucy Campbell's. So I'm playing that for you wherever you are. Where are you? Good man, good man, good man, good man. So Lucy Campbell's and the second reel is a, a reel I learned of a great, great uh, Sligo box player, Dahi Gormley. He's a great, great player. And the third one um, kind of came back to life for me um, after a Galway man, Oliver Devaney. So up Galway, up Mayo. <laughs> answered up here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks very much. Uh, that wasn't a set planned at all. I don't know where that came out of, but <laughs> it's played now, and I so sorry, Myra. That's my fault. Um, we'll slow the whole thing down a bit because nobody could stick that. Um, couple of horn pipes. Couple of horn pipes. Um, the second one is the high level, and the first one is, no, I've got the name of it, I have it, <laughs> I have it. And the first one is the Derry Hornpipe. It's actually one of my favorites. And uh, I'm playing this for my two co-pilots down there. And they're sitting down the side very quietly there. So um, I'm gonna play it for them. So the Derry Hornpipe, and I think it's a high level, so.
Thanks very much. Um, there's going to be a couple of people paying out, anyway, I know that. <laughs> um, we're going to continue here with a couple of jigs. Um, the first one is The Stormy Night, and the second one, I know Nancy gave me the name of it uh, quite some time ago, but um, Darren just didn't get it written down. So, two jigs. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to play these two jigs here um, for a man down there tonight, Tom Foley. So, here you are, Tom. These are for you. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right, thank you very much, and I'm sorry I made a complete hula hoop out of that. Um, I don't know where I went, why I'm sorry, and I'm sorry to you as well, I just don't know. It was a car crash. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to finish off now um, with a couple of reels, and, and thanks to Mick and all the gang and everybody um, from when we arrived there, we got tea, sandwiches, unbelievable thank you very much to everybody and thanks for having me tonight as always great to be here a great crowd and great listeners and to Myra Fraser as well thank you Myra thank you. so when I finish off I think everybody's gone up for a tune then so from me I'm Myra good night thank you very much God bless and see you all later
Pois. I think he might have a short one there that he'll play for us because we're going to get everybody else up on stage because we're all going to play tuned in and go on our merry way at some time tonight. But absolutely fantastic playing from Darren Breslin. Thank you very much. Um, Moira, I don't know what I'm doing or nothing else. I'll have to go home and get these cattle gathered up and all that. <laughs> so um, I'll play a couple of reels and I'll be listening. Thank you very much to everybody. Thank you. And I really enjoyed my night. And thanks a million. Thank you. Mighty from Darren Breslin and Moira Fraser, and then the legend himself makes his way to the stage. Now, just while we're getting everybody else on stage, just to acknowledge a couple of people there uh, Seamus Cullinan actually on the sound here. Seamus, thanks a million for doing a fantastic job for us all night tonight. Brilliant. 
and uh, Rory O'Brien is here from Radio Nagrathita, who's making all. He'll be making us all sound fantastic on Radio Nagrathita on Nancy's show over the next few weeks. So thanks, uh, Rory O'Brien, here on the sound. Thanks, Rory. And what about the former Westmead hurling goalkeeper down there, Ali Gallagher, who is making the film of tonight's <laughs> events? <laughs> That's the bit was told to me, Ali. Anyway, we'll get as many out to play a few tunes and say thanks a million to all of you for being here and for remembering Frank Gavigan, I must say, all these years on. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Just a couple of little stories I want to tell you about some of the people on that stage tonight. Many, many years ago, Mr. Breslin and myself were on a tour of Ireland. And we were in Limerick this night when who arrived in halfway through the show? Only the return group coming from America, out the back doing the, the tour of America, but we caught it. And I was talking to the lads over the American ship to travel. I know quite a few of them. And Darren came rushing over, he said, and I'm with all these lads coming home from America. He said, Sean, Sean, Jack Roach says we're far better than the crowd that went to America. <laughs> <laughs> you remember? <laughs> a brilliant, a brilliant man altogether. That's just music. He's great fun to be with. Then Nora Butler on another occasion, we're after doing the show in Cashel, Cashel. And we were staying overnight anyway in the, the guest house. And a very well-known 
traditional step dancer from Connemara was there with us. He's a great character altogether. But he started telling tell them the, uh, they're, they're, oh, Fleming, reading their palms, you know, this thing, what's in the future? And all the butler went through my image, comes out and said, that one is not right. Say why? He's after telling me things I thought only myself and God knew about. <laughs> my, my father now to go to him, who was just 90 when he died. But by the way, I'm nearly 80. But he went to school in a little country schoolhouse, and his first day in school, the pupils were leaving their names and addresses. And he was the first in mind, and the teacher said, Your name, little man. And my father took out his little chest like a duck and said, Stephen Norman Sir. Grant, next little boy. And the next little fellow said to him, Tom Chanton, sir. No, it's the, the teacher says, no, it's Thomas Canton. You called out the one of the great saints of the, saints of the church, you know what I mean? We try it once again, and once again, the little boy says, Tom Chanton, sir. So he tried to so try it once more now. Once more, Tom as Canton. So he runs says, Tom Canton. Now we'll tell you what's the teacher, we break it down into two sort of syllables. And try it this way, Tom as Canton. So the little boy said, Tom Os Canton. Next little boy, what's your name? Jack Os Canton, sir. <laughs> but, you know, Paddy Fallon was the MC for many tours of course, and he was brilliant. And I want to tell you, I'm, my name is Paddy Flanny. I come to French Park in County Roscommon. Every third year we had a mission. And on this particular occasion, Thursday night was regarded as the men's society when everything of a sexual nature was discussed. And the missionaries would be pounding the poor beloved, as you know. But this particular night, anyway, poor old Mick and Biddy were jogging home in the ass and trap. And Paddy said, uh, Paddy said, Biddy, have we any sexual relations? Which he said that we were. There was none to match our mother's funeral. <laughs> 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 and the other count as well. <laughs> when I was there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's about, I'm sick of those courtless tours, never turn out as I expected. Last year they sent me to the Canary, uh, to the Canary Islands on a tour. I got there no Canaries. This year they sent me to the Virgin Islands. There was no Canaries there either. <laughs> 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 anyway, going back, I, I've been playing for Cadiz for 63 years. And Johnny and Bonnie were there with Mary Terry's band. Or for her for Katie 60 years ago, and they've been terribly kind, and so the whole branch been to me. And it was a great pleasure to be here tonight with all my great friends, and they're really true friends. There's four pillars of society which makes Ireland, Irish, Ireland, Ireland unique. One is Vincent de Paul. When you have a shilling in your pocket, they lift up off the ground. The second one has to be the credit union. The third one has to be the GAA and the GMs, keeping kids off the road. And the first, fourth and most important one, called us Cortori Aaron because it's like a big, huge family out over the world. And if anyone who are connected with Irish music, it's absolutely brilliant. Good night, God bless, and thanks very much. <laughs>